Hi folks, Tim here, and welcome back to Elmendorf Acres. Well, as I'm recording this right now, I'm sitting in my office and I'm going through all the paperwork from the snowstorm that we just had over the last two days. Now, this was arguably the first real snowstorm of the year or of the winter season based off of how you do your numbers. So by that, what I mean is it's the first time since the winter season has started that we've actually plowed pure snow. Every other snowstorm we've had has been slush or ice or rain and then snow mixed in. So it's been an absolute disaster. So with this storm, as with all the rest of the storms so far this year, there's been no frost in the ground. So we definitely had some areas that we dug up, no matter how hard we tried. We've tried everything. We're plowing with shoes on, we're picking the plows up, everything. But at some point, you still manage to just dig some stuff up, no matter how careful you are. So we did dig a little bit, but all in all, a really successful storm. The only real breakdown I had was I lost a light bulb in one of the plow trucks. I mean, that's, that's nothing. It was actually on the plow frame itself. So the way those headlights are mounted on the plow, they get a huge amount of vibration. And whenever you hit a pothole or a rock or anything like that, or that trip edge pops or the whole plow tips as, as your safety when you catch on something and it smacks back, it smacks real hard. And that's a lot of times where you lose a, a light bulb, but light bulbs are cheap. You know, that's the one thing that happened. We burned through an enormous amount of fuel in a day and a half. We started at three o'clock on Tuesday morning. The storm actually started around 7.30 Monday night, but I got up around 2.30 and got in the plow truck at three. We had five and three quarter inches at three o'clock in the morning, and it continued from there. By the time the storm was done, we had between eight and 10 inches based off of elevation and different areas in the town where we plow. So I plowed from three o'clock in the morning until 10.30 Tuesday night, I uh, went home, slept for a while, got back up, and Wednesday morning we went back out, we finished cleaning everything up, and by two o'clock in the afternoon we were complete. So the last thing we did before we counted the storm as complete was to go back to the apartment complex that we take care of and clean up around all the cars that were parked on the opposite side of the parking lot. So the way we have uh, folks park in a parking lot or in an apartment complex is all the cars get moved to one side of the lot. That way we can keep or the main part of the lot open and the parking spots in a designated area clear. Then during the day, the following day after the storm, in our contract, it states that we'll be there between 12 and one or 11 and 12 based on the contracts. And we go back the following day and we clean up all those parking spots. So that's what we did today. We wrapped up there, put a little more salt down, parking lot came out great and that was the wrap up for the day so it was a great storm very successful uh, we were able to capture some drone footage of a private road that we maintain uh, Glenn and myself plowed that open around seven o'clock in the morning so you'll get the drone footage from that coming up here in a minute and we set the GoPro up as we were coming up the hill for the private road as well so you'll see Glenn's truck go by and then my truck but this was dubbed by the Weather Channel Winter Storm Olive. So that's why that is in our description of the video. It's Winter Storm Olive 2023. And it's our snowplow footage from it.
a lot of people have mentioned to me that they would like more snowplow footage. And my answer to them is yes, I would too. <laughs> the problem is snow plowing is a really, really time sensitive thing. So we go in and we do a tree job for the day or we're doing a project. We have all day to get the project done. So if I take 10 or 15 minutes to set up cameras or move cameras, it's not a huge deal over the course of the day to spend a few minutes here and there setting up and moving cameras and filming things. When we're plowing snow, if I can do a driveway in five minutes, but it takes 10 or 15 minutes to set up the cameras, it's not something that's real practical. So unfortunately, we don't get a lot of footage from plowing the driveways or plowing the parking lots. And it's something I'd like to change in the future. But as of right now, it's not something that we can do because we just don't have the time. So those were a couple thoughts on the storm that we just had. The if you enjoy our videos, please like, please subscribe, and please share. We are definitely trying to build up our subscriber numbers quite a bit. We've had a lot of views on the channel, but not a lot of subscribers. So if you're enjoying the content, please like the videos. Please leave a comment. We read all the comments. And our email address is elmendorfacres at gmail.com. That is also in the description. So if you'd like to email us about something, go there and do that. I check for those emails as often as I can based off of how busy our work schedule is. So again, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and most of all, please share.